What's happening to the nation? Facebook fan. It's your boy, Common Sense Carlin. Got another unboxing for you. Last time was the Gash King Kush Limited Edition Hotel 3.0s. This time, something a little different, but it's still from Black Home Company. Got it in today. I had already opened the box, but you know what we do. Let me put everything out. <clears throat> Paperwork contents in there. Let's take a look at what we got. So before we do that, let's look at the paperwork real quick. So y'all what y'all get. I'll tell you what it is. Damn. Congratulations on being the proud owner of one of our heirloom carbon AR homes. You are receiving the, the Nadefu. I believe that's how you pronounce it, beard comb. Um, it has uh, our suggestions for maintenance care. Well, we're, we're not gonna get to that right now. Get, we'll get right back to that. Um, <clears throat> if you want this product, you want to order it, you can get it for yourself. Let's get some focus back in on this piece. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's acting up. She'll be out of focus soon. There it is. 1995 uh, Devil Beard Comb. It's a multi ply, you know, like two, one ply, two ply, three ply uh, cross fiber birch wood with Robinga handle. So, I know Nadevu means uh, Nadevu, not the devil, but Nadevu means is a Swahili for beard or facial hair. So, you know, I had to get it because your boy got a little bit of beard action going on. But if you want to get it, it's uh, <clears throat> really I think it was 15 bucks plus 4.95 if I remember correctly. But let's get into the product, man. Let's just know what y'all here for. So let's open it up. Now this is a, a small company. When I say small, don't you know? Don't sleep on it. But uh. It's not one of the mega companies where they just got a factory and they just got a whole bunch of workers just throwing stuff out there with a label on it. This is a black owned company that uh, shows a great deal of care in their products. And I'll show you what I mean uh, later on. Now, you're probably asking, why do they use painter's tape on this? Well, if you've ever opened a package and it had bubble wrap on it, uh, the clear the tape, the packing tape, um, is a pain in the butt to get off. Um, and you almost literally have to rip the package in half, and sometimes you end up damaging the product inside. I'm just trying to get the tape off so you can get to the product. So, actually, I, I dig this. This is actually pretty smart because uh, this is a semi delicate instrument. You don't want to go ripping on it because <clears throat> it's meant for facial hair. So, uh, I wouldn't want to do that. But they, uh, you see, they, they take great care to make sure it smells nice and smooth and double wrap. Mm. Look at that. Carbon they are. Oh, you know how they did this. Look, look like everybody. They might scrub this in. They did a little bit of burning. Look at that. Mm. Afro futuristic styling cones. So if you're in your black consciousness, yo. Bam, there we go. You need one of these, especially if you got a beard. You got your beard game. You get one of these. <clears throat> it's very lightweight, but it's very sturdy. There we go. Solid. Look at the teeth on this thing, man. Let's see if I can get my hand out the way real quick. plastic. Damn. Look at the teeth on this thing, man. And then what we got over here. Let's check it out. Huh. We got this wrapped up. Now, I already know what this is, but I want to show you guys. I didn't unwrap it because I want to show you guys first. What this is, man. I've been seeing a lot of cool black products. Black um, design. Products for black-owned companies. 
Okay, a little plastic container. Now you probably wonder if this is for well, this is not for your face. <clears throat> In fact, let's get back to that sheet I, I put down. Now with this being a wood comb, this is birch, birch wood. It's gonna require a little bit of maintenance, but they hook you up, they get you the right stuff. Don't you see that? <clears throat> so let's read this together. So I suggest this for care and maintenance. Please check the comb times regularly and file or send away any surface irregularities. This can be done with a simple back and forth motion and a nail file. It should be extremely strong. However, it is not unbreakable, which that makes sense. So let's take a look at that part right there. If you notice, it's real thick, um, long ways, but not you know left to right. It's not as thick. Yeah, because you're not going to use it in that motion. This is a comb. So you're going to be combing back and forth. So in the ways that it counts, that's where it's the strongest. Um, it's not as strong the long way. So if you're going back and forth doing something like this, you probably could break it. Um, even though this is birch wood, it's a multi-ply birch wood. Yeah, so I'm assuming... Uh, they sandwiched together somehow. There was some sandwiching involved, but I don't know the whole process. That's not for me to know. You know that's proprietary information. You know, maybe when they get to the point where a brother can invest, I might know, but I still wouldn't tell you. But uh, as you see, you got <clears throat> for the people with the real thick beards. That's you. The medium beards. You got. You can come to this end right over here. And if you got like a little goatee or whatever, there you go, right there in the end. So, <clears throat> back to the care. Um, please treat the comb with a touch of care. Uh, wax the comb once a month with our proprietary coconut hemp wax. Coconut and hemp, okay, natural ingredients. And a, a clean, dry cloth to protect the comb and add to surface luster. So, <clears throat> this is going to require some maintenance. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna require maintenance. It's a dope comb, but it requires maintenance and they hook you up. You ain't even gotta go get nothing. They are gonna prepare their blade for their product. That's dope. <clears throat> the wax itself is food safe wood wax. Uh made of coconut oil, hemp oil, cedar oil, and beeswax. With a soft cloth, use a pea sized amount, rub thoroughly along the face and edges of the comb, and the same with the second pea sized amount. Uh, the tongs for the comb should be done at least once a month. And yes, it's food safe, but you probably shouldn't need it. <laughs> okay. We apologize once again, but we'd rather send out something we know is quality. Okay, let me get to that. Uh, this is why I like this comb. This is what's up. This is real dope. Uh, we are sending uh, the wax in a temporary container at this point to make sure you, you all have it for your combs. Okay. We don't want to send out the cases uh, we have completed at this point. Because the materials we got from our suppliers does not match the quality level with which, uh, with which we want to present our product. That's dope. That has been uh, the central issue uh, with the delay. As soon as we can uh, get this issue resolved, we'll resolve, we will follow up with a second supply of wax for you in the final case. So that's what's up, man. That's, that's beautiful. So this is not the case they want to send it in. This is something temporary. Um... Just to make sure you have it for your product. Uh, that's how you know you're dealing with a company that pays a serious amount of attention to detail. They're not just going to send you anything. A lot of companies, unfortunately, they get big or they do pretty well. And they just start sending stuff out just to do it. Um, consistency is what's going to pay off, especially with uh, the emergence of the black market. Uh, not, I don't mean that in a bad, bad way. I mean that in the way of, uh, or should I say, the melanated market is coming by storm. So, uh, <clears throat> lastly, remember that you have a lifetime guarantee. So, when you buy this comb, somebody's going to say, well, it's expensive. Well, here, right here in the letter. Documentation. Bam. With this comb, you have a lifetime guarantee. We have had, we've had a lot of fun, blood, sweat, and tears making this project come to life. If anything happens with your combs, we want to know about it. We will place them regardless. As far as R&D goes, we want to know what happened. So, please think of them replacement as no questions asked thanks so much please send us some selfies with the combs back <clears throat> so you know your boy gonna do a selfie with me with the beard in it uh 
once I give him a face off. I hooked up Jay, Primary Imagineer, Carpenter Yard. Got the things on there, man. And uh, you can see it with the box. You know, they do it themselves. It's a hands on situation. Hands on product, hands on shipping. They got the letters letting you know what's going on. So you got your beautiful wax. Take care of your comb. And they give you instructions on how to do it, man. That's awesome. You know, that's beautiful. So uh, it's just the unboxing right now. Let me get some use out of it. Hit you back up in about a month or so. Let you know what I think about it. Did it, you know, if anything broke on it? Uh, <clears throat> um, did I was I able to keep the maintenance on it? Did it keep its luster? You know, we'll come back and revisit this product. I think this is gonna be dope. Uh, I'm really about my beard game because I ain't got no hair on my head, so if I do anything, I'm just going to rock this beard and let it grow out, get nice and thick, and we're gonna put this boy into some serious use. So it's your boy. Big Common Sense Scholar um, signing off from another black owned, black operated company and product. So, uh, you guys have a good night, man. I'll see you next time.